Hey y'all, my name is Miss Toto and I'm here with the House of Gains. We have Satana Rituals Hi. and FKA Twink. <laughs> <laughs> so today we're doing a little mukbang video. Um, I don't know. Is what that, language is that? Gerardo fucking on Ethan. That's <laughs> true. Okay, so we got a lot of questions from people. So we're, there were a lot, a lot. So we're gonna answer a few. We're gonna try. <laughs> we're gonna try. Um, your favorite movie villain, ghost, demon, bad guy, etc. Starting with me. Okay. Which I agree with. With mine? Oh. Yeah. So I said mine was the guy from Scream. <laughs> wait, hold on. What did I say no. yesterday? You said it was the little cut bitch. Oh, she sing me! Okay, wait, 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 wait. Okay, two, I have two. I have two. Okay. I love the guy from Scream because he's really funny, but the little bitch from Strangers with the little bob really? and that harsh blush. So She's everything. She's so Her little BB heels, she like tip tapping around the little compound. <laughs> no, I live. <laughs> um, Sinister. Oh, I'm Sidious, right? Huh? That movie. Insidious. Who's yours? Her mind. We literally her? just said I agree with you. Oh, okay. She's so kind. <laughs> I literally okay. like, <laughs> we, you need to see her. She has that little. We're gonna put a picture up. Well, mine would have to be the boogeyman from Sinister because he's really fucking scary. <laughs> and every time he fucking shows his ass through like the table, I'm like, <laughs> he's scary. Okay, wait, who's so cunt too? Who? Oh. Miss Annabelle. Oh, oh she was Annabelle. so sickening. She was so sick of it. Um, oh, I love this one, but I don't have an answer. Okay, describe your drag using two cartoon characters. I'll start. Well, <laughs> could you know yours? It would be Raven from Teen Titans, because he's like half demon, half human. And um, Satana from DC Comics. What's she do? She's like, um, her power is that she can cast spells, but she has to say everything backwards. Like a witch. Like a widow. So that's where wow. I got my name from. <laughs> I didn't know that, I just thought it was Satan. Okay, I'm literally, first of all, me, I'm literally so fucking uncultured that <laughs> literally the first thing that comes to mind is like a bitch from Totally Spies and like, I don't know, what was that band from like Scooby-Doo, like the girls? The Hex. Oh my god, yeah. The totally, Hex girls? Yeah, they're cute. I feel like I'm like a total mix of like Totally Spies and like the Hex girls. Right. Right. Well, this is kind of obvious. I feel very connected to him and the Powerpuff Girls. Like very that, like sometimes androgynous, but like super fish. Right. Very good. Mm. Uh, and I'm very, I wouldn't say my drag is based off that, but I live for Spongebob. Cause she's so annoying and like so definitely- Penny cheeks. <laughs> triggered. But like Spongebob definitely over medicated. She's so happy all the time. Like she just wants to make everybody happy. She's a fucking crack. <laughs> and I feel like that's a fucking crack. Very much me and drag, right? Okay, wait. Oh, this is a good one. Well, we already know these. Name someone you'd love to collab with, whether it be dance, music, fashion, etc. I would love to collab with Pat McGrath. That's what I'm Are you serious? Because like us. <laughs> I, love, I would love to collab with Pat McGrath because I feel like she's such a like amazing makeup artist and she's literally a visionary and she's great at this point her like subculture that like she's the mother of. Like she's literally like the bitch that I was up to, like, you know. That'd be sickening. Pat McGrath is everything. You do? Um, either Pat McGrath or um, David LaChapelle. Oh, oh, bitch, yes. But I mean, name a better photographer. Well, yes. Honest Henry. <laughs> Hi, Honest Henry. Hi, Honest Henry. <laughs> Honest underscore Henry. No. Um, I think mine would be, oh my god, what's his, Terry Richardson. Oh. Mm -hmm. Just rapist? Yeah, that's what I Okay, but he took some really, really sickening shots of Miley. And the ones of Lindsay where she had like the gun. Like that's so good. But yeah, he's like cool. Um, but I mean I wouldn't want to be like associated with a predator. Turkey, help me out. Help her out. Help a sister out. Oh, I love this one. Okay. What beauty trend can you not stand? 
Where do I Any get? eyebrow fucking trash. Like wiggly eyebrows, like block eyebrows, like please delete it. Like just fucking just stop. stop. This shit is really ugly as it's attention seeking. Like I can't. Um, stop that. What up? There's so many. There's so many, but I just can't think of any. I don't. Right. I'm not bothered by many of them. I'm bothered more so, not even the beauty trend. This beauty trend I'm annoyed with, the over face tuning, when I can see it. Like, I'm not gonna call any names out, but there are some <laughs> girls that face tune, like, even the food in the picture. The fucking French fries. I didn't <laughs> say that. I wasn't bringing that up. I wasn't bringing that up. But I'm saying, like, I understand a little nip, a little tuck, a little nip. You gotta fix yourself up, make yourself look the way you wanna look, but, like, come on, Mary. You also can post a video to let everyone know how you look, because you still look kind. If you look kind, you look kind. You don't need to like completely change your whole outfit and try to make everyone deceive. Because then when they see you in person, they're confused. Stop look right. at a bitch's tag photos on Instagram. That'll get you. If you ever confused. That's where the real deceit lies. That's where the truth is hidden. <laughs> the chamber of secrets. The chamber of secrets. Um, for me. I don't know, I guess like when people go like, when the people like make themselves look laminated <laughs> from the highlighter. Mm -hmm. But that's like old. But the highlighter goes everywhere. Okay. Like it's not on spots that need to be highlighted, it's just right, really on your whole face. literally everywhere. And it's like metallic. <laughs> gold. Ooh, gold. Ooh, Another what? metallic lip. I'm just mm, not here for it. I like it for editorial shoes. Right, but like but for every every day, can be tough. Keep I was set up. I love this one. Men, why we hate them. <laughs> like, well, we need a whole separate video for that. Good. Men, and why we hate them. That's how it should go. That's let's a talk about Gemini. That's a... Oh, no. Let's talk about Aquarius. Oh, Aquarius. Girl. Let's start a, a Zodiac channel. All right, let's talk about, let's talk about Zodiac. So how much we hate Aries? Whoa. <laughs> These attention-seeking, over-the-top. Your the dog's an Aries. My dog is an Aries, and it, it's, it, Seeks attention. Aries are very interesting people. Um, we love Scorpios. We love Scorpios. We love Gemini's. We love Capricorns. There's a, a what other other signs do we love? I love Cancers. I love a Cancer. I love. We love a Cancer. You don't love Leos, but I love Leos. First of all, dear air signs, get your shit together and like figure out what the fuck you want and like be able to like vocalize it. And then, I love a good water sign, but like, all these water signs are too emotional, me included. But like, Pisces, stop crying. Know. Stop crying. Because no one cares. Because you're crying right now. Because I know you're crying <laughs> If you have Pisces, you're probably crying because I said that. <laughs> and Cancer, they're going through like 12 mood swings a minute. Me. I don't know shit about Sagittarius aside from- Capricorns are like being hard on themselves. <laughs> right? Capricorn. First of all, we victimize ourselves all the fucking time. Like, quote unquote, why am I being red? Oh, I love this one. One makeup product you couldn't live without. Um, Anastasia but really knows that brow. In what shape? Ebony or chocolate, it depends. Like chocolate when I'm wearing like blonde hair and ebony when I'm wearing like anything else. Or like a light hair. I'm dark hair, I mean. Girl, hold up. Esau, Esau, come on Esau. <laughs> Give it up for Esau. Give it up for Esau. Give it up for the Esau. Give it up for the big girl. Give it up for the Esau. What about you? I uh, can't. I don't even know. I have too much shit on my face. A red lip. Clown white. Clown white. Clown white. Clown white. And taco. Um, that. Taco. And then Morphe 35B. If you want to get anything on your face really white, the only way is to use clown white. white. And, and taco. Sit and set it with taco from Sugar Bell. I would say the product I can't live without is the 39A palette, which I don't own <laughs> right now. She's so bitter you, about this palette, she didn't get because I got this I'm not living very well without it, clearly. My sister, she literally came up to me, we were getting ready, she was like, girl, do you have the 39A? And I'm like, girl, when did I ever fucking own it? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like making scenarios up in my head, I'm like, I know never she has it. That fucking palette. I, know, I know she has it, I have to get it. <laughs> <laughs> Not doesn't end the path. Look it up. It's it was out for Christmas or something. No. Holidays. I mean, I guess right now in this very moment, I couldn't live without my um, Sugar Pill Pro palette. She's hey, going Nicole. Hey, Nicole. Hey, Nicole. Hey, Nicole. Hey, Nicole. Hey, baby. 
Hey, hey baby. baby. Domino's Pizza. No, back to Anyways, the little bitch. <laughs> favorite scary movie. What is your favorite? My favorite scary movie? Fuck. <laughs> Are you trying? Got me there, bitch. <laughs> literally got me Boop there. Two. <laughs> uh, Pick one. Wait. That's the hard part. Pick two. Okay. Hermione. Okay, there's this foreign one. It's a vampire film. It's a German vampire film. It's called We Are the Night. I've seen that. So yeah. good. It's so good. good. Don't know if it's like a. It is. I mean, it is a horror film. Um, and then Sinister. It's a classic. A film. Do you watch the movie? Absolutely not. I'm really supposed to hear it. Meanwhile, as I like go to sleep, I can only camera. watch I can only watch scary movies with a man present. I can watch scary so, movies any time of the day. So like, how's that never, going? Oh, <laughs> so how's that going? So I never watch scary movies. <laughs> <laughs> you, you don't watch go. Ready to Mingle. Have you seen a scary movie? You have to see. I've seen like four. Okay, what like, what are they? Probably like Insidious three. Horrifying. And then like. I like the one that you said to watch. Oh! Strangers? Two. Two. Okay, but that's But she slept through the whole thing! You are two! You <laughs> Literally, we look, like, get that. Oh, shake the shake. I'd be fucking right! We look, we look over. <laughs> I'm like, girl, is she I mean, You see me sleeping in this bitch munching on her fucking Cheetos. Crunching! Always crunching. Also, why am I the only one eating right now? What do you mean? I just housed four pieces of pizza. Girl, I don't even know how many I fucking ate. <laughs> you can do a little count. How many I grabbed. Do you want more, Hen? I'm letting y'all know I'm finishing this shit if y'all don't. Shut up. Give it for Henry! <laughs> <laughs> Literally empty. Because I am not to be Nothing. trusted. Um, my scary movies. I love. Well, okay. Scariest. You posted the show. I know. The scariest one. Hold up. We gotta wrap it up. Scariest one to me would be. Strangers One. Cause that shit where you're like, you're watching, it's cinematic genius, if you ask. So you're looking at what's going on in the foreground, you watch this whole scene, and the scene ends but the camera doesn't focus on what they want you to focus on. So you have the camera just stays there waiting for you to realize what is has been standing in the back of the scene and for the once, last ten minutes. Once you once you notice that you shit yourself. <laughs> right. And I love that feeling because it like takes a lot for me to be scared because I've seen so many scary movies. Right. And I love Scream just because it's funny. Like it's really funny. Never watched it. We'll watch it. It's like not or just watch scary movie. Or yeah, everyone's like, I've seen Scream, I love it. But like, you're like, everyone in the comments is gonna like read me the fucking film. <laughs> for not seeing Scream, especially with my Scream, scream tattoo. tattoo. What's your favorite scary movie? Oh, well, what's your favorite look that you've ever done? Personally, I have like a couple of favorites. I love my sucker look because I'm <laughs> living for like the picture itself and the way that I capture the glare. Well, it's doing that fucking tattoo on my, uh, my bra was so hard. <laughs> Legit spent like seven hours while like procrastinating as well. Like I literally took a fucking nap. Like this isn't new. And <laughs> another one's probably my heart my heart glass. Oh I love that one too. It's a really good look. It's my favorite. I think I would say that. It's a good look. The look that is in our silly thing. Oh I mean <laughs> Yeah. I'm pretty sure. I'll never I'll never <laughs> my favorite drag look. Would be this one. Oh, <laughs> just to pull it up. You look like Carmen San Diego. I do look like Carmen San Diego, <laughs> and it's like classic Santana. It's just like a neutral golden eye and then like a red lip, so it's like. Me. We live. And then my other favorite would have to be my little hey my kitty girl club kid look. She's cute. She's a cute girl. I would say my favorite look though is this one. The pride. The look. pride. The call your girlfriend. Look. Okay. okay. With the body suit. One of my favorite looks you've ever done. I don't know if that's in that page, but it's this fire one that you did for your old Instagram. Oh. Let me see. Do I have her in my? Okay, as she's scrolling through her nudes. Um, <laughs> oh shit! Oh, I remember the one I did for the ICA performance. The flames on my eyes. Oh yeah, that was good. Oh, a look. Yeah, I really liked that one. That's probably my favorite. <laughs> this is so good. Mm. Go off. Oh my god. Dish. Mama 
loves her white stuff. I act, this is the only white sauce that I like. I actually hate anything white. Oh, we know. Mayonnaise. Especially for Woo! <laughs> In 2018, I decided that I'm not hooking up with anyone with a pink dick. It's not really going that well for me, but I'm really making an effort. <laughs> Why am I gonna stop this here? I literally have 12 pieces there. Um, okay. okay. What do you wish to accomplish with your drag? Like, do you do it for fun or for you? Or, and would you like to like travel the world with that? I really don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I really don't fucking know. I mean, I would love to keep going with drag, but I feel like I also have like, a good future with like my makeup. 100%. Make you like need to do that. So like, I'm like still very young and I'm trying to figure myself out, but the good thing is that like, I'm good at that thing. You know? <laughs> but I would love to travel the world, you know, like, if I end up picking drag, like I would love to like do it like all the way. Maybe even go to like a certain show, you know, or like, <laughs> or <laughs> the voice. So, American Idol. What do you want to do? Um, Satana, well, what are you good at? So now, Satana, what are you? What, wait, what are your aspirations in life? To be my aspiration. My aspiration in life. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> um. Well, I started drag three months ago. <laughs> a week ago. Literally yesterday. About a week ago, hey. Um, and I love it so far, and I would love to take it to a elevated place because drag really encompasses everything I love doing: makeup, performing, um, you know, being a, like fashion. Just everything I love doing is all in drag. So I think there's nothing better for me. And I love it, and I'm passionate about it, and I'm living my best life. True. Contestant number five, the panel rituals. Thank you very much, <laughs> distinguished panel of judges. <laughs> Good evening, distinguished panel of judges. I am your contestant number three, Uncle Titty. <laughs> um, Mercury and testosterone. <laughs> Exposed. Um, so I never really wanted to do drag, and I just ended up doing it because, like, I wanted free alcohol. Um, but then as I was doing it. It became a lot more meaningful to me and now I'm in a position where I, instead of just performing I'm like making events and like doing shit which is kind of bizarre but now my whole idea opposed to just like having fun and like dressing up has turned into curating and creating these like really insane events and that's the tea because the parties that I throw so who's gonna check her are next level and y'all can't shit on me next level here she's the black she's <laughs> One day, call me Susie Carmichael. <laughs> if you could do any number for the rest of your life, which one would it be? Okay. I've been read. Have you met on reflective to you? No, bitch. I would do my ATM down. Oh, uh, no. I would want you to do. Who's that girl from the video? On brand. I like literally love that That's one. That's crazy. Love. That I will one. totally do it again. Okay, but when I do glasses, it's wrong. She hasn't even done it yet. I'm funny like that. It's a, I'm a production. What's yours? Stunning, my little powerful girl. Probably that was so my, good. Okay, okay our powerful girls was everything. Shout out to Miss Morphe in Love. We miss yes, you, sister. We miss you, mama. Um, I would either do my Powerpuff Girls as Buttercup, love which is Problem by Natalia Kills. <laughs> or... <laughs> I like my Madonna moment. My, like, a virgin. I think... I like the look, but I would say Call Your Girlfriend. Call your girlfriend. I was just living. living. Everything. I was just living. Yeah. Call Your Girlfriend. <laughs> she changed her answer. Y'all already know that if I could perform into you for the rest of my life, I would. Even her, even her grinder trade though. Literally, this Ryan Shay was like, hey, you look really familiar. You're so handsome. I was like, thank you. And he was like, I saw you perform into you at Gramps a while back. I was like, which time? <laughs> <laughs> because. Which, literally, which time? <laughs> which, literally. No, he what, didn't say Gramps. What venue? He said, I saw you perform into you. And I was like, oh, what where was Why is it? Where was it? What venue? What venue? Poor thing. I mean, the, the beat goes off, so. Okay, y'all. Thanks for watching us house all this Thank food. Thank you so much for Thank joining you us. For so much. Make sure like you and subscribe. like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you follow every single one of us on Instagram. Make sure you hashtag House of Gain. And hashtag House of Gain. And let us know if we should do more videos. Like, yeah. If you like and like, it. if you like to see what we eat. <laughs> Wait. If you want us to do more mukbangs. First off, tell me how to say the damn word. Um, yes. Tell us what you want us to eat. <laughs> and topics. 
<laughs> and questions. So, Miss Toto, until, over and out. Until we see you guys next time, stay gorgeous. Oh, you want to be able to say bye? Girl. Bye, girl. <laughs> <laughs> bye, sister. Bye, sister. Hey, I'm so Miss sister. <laughs> okay. Bye, guys. Adios. Adios. Bye. Bye.